Okay, so here's problem number 14, also a domain, but here we have a piecewise function. So if I look at this definition for when x is less than 0, that's not a factorable numerator, but I can factor the denominator into x plus 1 times x minus 1. So from that, we cannot let x equal negative 1. Now we also can't let x equal positive 1, but we're not in that part of the definition because it's x is less than 0. If we look at this other piece of the function, the numerator with uh, a real number, or with we can't let x equal negative 2, but again, x has to be greater than or equal to 2. So for here, this is the only thing that applies. So our domain goes from negative infinity to negative 1, union with negative 1 to positive infinity. And if we check the answer here, that's what they got. And they have a little explanation here. And also, I'm going to check this with the calculator. So I've actually entered the piecewise function here. And if we go look at the actual entry line here. If you go to the palette of math, this is a two-part piecewise function and this is an in-part piecewise function. So this is how you would enter it. And then if I go to the next page, I can use the domain feature and that is located in the catalog. So we got the palette of math, there's the catalog, you st it's in alphabetical order, so if you want to fast forward to the D's, you hit D, and then I scroll down to Domain. And the thing about the catalog is it tells you how to use that function. So I need Domain, an expression, and the variable. So I've already done that. Domain is my F1 of X, which is that two-piece piecewise function. X is my variable, and it says X can't equal negative 1. So that agrees with what we got by hand. And that concludes this video.